All right, guys, welcome back to another video with Shaman J. So today we're going to be taking a quick follow-up. I just had this, I've only had this laptop for maybe a week or so, but there are some things I noticed. There's one thing I noticed that I think is very important, and it's crucial for me to point this out to the viewers, so people that may might be thinking about purchasing this laptop. It could be a deal-breaker for you, and it could not. So the Microsoft Surface Laptop Go 2, right here, I have it in Sage, uh, 256 gig, 8 gigs of RAM, the Core i5, obviously. They all have a Core i5, 11th gen. So... No matter which one you have, uh, this is going to be on all the laptops more than likely. So I have pretty much the top of the line version here. And this is what I noticed. I noticed that this laptop does not have a backlit keyboard. And you can see the power button there is lit up to, you know, get me into the laptop or whatever. But I found that very strange that it does not have a backlit keyboard at all. And it would have been really cool to have a backlit keyboard, but it doesn't. And so me using this for a bedside laptop, I was relying heavily on this, you know, to replace my Pixelbook Go, which I've had for three years. But that's not a deal breaker for me. At night, basically, you have the laptop about like this orientation right here. You're ultimately going to rely on the reflection of the screen to light the keys. Now... This isn't something that's new. It's not, this isn't the first really nice laptop to not have a backlit keyboard. But I wanted to point that out first because I was actually just really shocked uh, that this great machine doesn't have a backlit keyboard. Totally blew me away. Went into all the settings, um, went into everything. It just doesn't have a backlit keyboard. And I found that to be very strange, but it does not. So I won't beat that horse up. I just wanted to follow up really quickly with you on this one because I actually really like this laptop. So as you heard me say, um, I'm replacing my Pixelbook Go ultimately as my bedside laptop. Well, there's there's more to that story. I don't just use the Pixelbook Go for bedside usage. I actually travel with the Pixelbook Go when I want to take a laptop. And a couple of reasons is because it had fan, it has fantastic battery. That is what I want to talk about with this laptop. It has phenomenal battery. Microsoft claims 13 and a half hours. And while I'm not, um, you know, digging really deep to try to get to see if I'm really getting 13 and a half hours, what I can tell you is that I don't charge every day. I use it for roughly, in, and I use it several times a day. Um, so I'm using it at least two hours every time I use it, doing media consumption, streaming, uh, and things like that. So in, in, in emails, lots of web surfing. So I'm giving this computer at least two hours when I do open the lid of continuous use. And I don't charge every day, and I think the times that I've had it, I think I've charged maybe twice, maybe three times in the last week. So it definitely can go through at more than a day, probably even more than two, but I'm really heavy on it right now. So uh, I think it's very important to note that the 13 and a half hour, 13 and a half hour claims that they're making, I think it's, it's probably possible because this this battery on this thing, it goes and goes and goes, it sips. Once I get down to about 50%, I've noticed it really starts to sip. Like it, it'll stay, it'll drop slowly after 50% from what I've noticed, like long, long usage for some reason. And I thought that's good for me as a consumer. And it's good for you as a consumer to get the most battery out of a device. Now, granted, this still is a brand new machine. So over time, the battery is probably going to wear a little bit. But my Pixelbook Go, three years, no battery issues, and it still runs strong on battery. So I don't anticipate this having poor battery after two years or so, as long as it's good in good condition, not banged up and things like that. And I have dropped my Pixelbook Go, uh, but not to the point where it fell on cement or something like that and got shattered, but dropping it on carpet from a pretty high distance, two to five feet. That's a pretty long distance to drop a laptop and it survived. So I don't anticipate this one getting damaged if that were to happen again uh, with this laptop because the hardware on here is another thing I wanted to point out aside from the battery being great, this is really solid hardware. This doesn't have a lot of ports. You only get that port right there. <laughs> These two ports right here, you get a full-size USB-A and a Type-C and a headphone jack. Those are two that, those are really essential. Now you can actually hook up monitors to these. If you have a Type-C monitor, I have a Type-C monitor and it works great. You get a full-size, bigger monitor if you need it because this display is 12.4 inches. And for me, a traveling laptop, which is another thing what I use my uh, Pixelbook Go for, like I said, this is a great replacement. While it doesn't run Chrome OS, it runs Windows 11. Uh, I just installed Chrome, obviously, on everything that I own 
because I'm synced over Chrome, but I'm slowly transitioning to Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is a fast browser. Um, I actually use it a lot more on my computer that sits right over here, my 35 inch 5K widescreen, oh, HP, love it. But I use Microsoft Edge more on that. I'm slowly transitioning to use Edge on Windows computers. So native browsers. So on my MacBook Pro, I try to use the Safari browser a lot. I try to use the native things that come with it because I feel like they're gonna run a lot faster and smoother than a third-party app. Now we all know that Google Chrome is one of the best browsers, I would say, in my experience, not saying that you have to agree with that, but I think Google Chrome is one of the best browsers I, I've ever used. And I'm excited to be able to sync everything and feel like I'm I'm somewhat secure. You know, anything on the internet is technically not secure, but somewhat secure with, with Google. But I'm happy to report that, you know, this thing has been doing great. Um, I, I just don't have any problems physically with it. Like there's nothing broken on it. It's rolling right along good. And I don't anticipate having any problems in the next year, I'll say. Uh, but I haven't, I've got other laptops that are Windows laptops, but they're way more powerful than this. And, you know, they have uh, beefier graphics cards and things like that. It's just, they're just beefier computers, but they're also, I can't do this with them with one hand. It'll be a workout to do those that way. This one is a traveling laptop, and this is a, a laptop which I'm gonna to touch on that subject because I know somebody was, wants to hear of it or not. This is definitely a laptop for a student. Seeing as though I have my last one in college, um, I, this is something that I would give her. You know, I got her, a, she wanted a bigger at the time. Uh, she uses a Pixel Slate, believe it or not, still going over three years strong uh, with that. And she also has, I got her a, a laptop. Now hers is a little bit bigger than 13 inch, but you know, this would have been perfect, you know, for a student, it, or for her as a student. And it, it, this will be great for a person that needs to do some data entry or keep up with things that are dealing with college. Uh, just, just the size and hardware and performance alone, the size mainly is where I think a student would really feel comfortable. And, and things like, by today's world, students look at things like colors and stuff like that. All things that a student might it might trigger someone to like it more. Believe it or not, these are these are true. Because if people are triggered by green and blue bubbles, you definitely will be triggered by a color of your laptop. Somebody can say, oh, I got the blue one. Oh, I got the green one. Oh, I got the pink one. It happens, folks. So about a weekend with this thing, man, I, I guess the only dislike or con I have is just that it doesn't have a backlit keyboard. Other than that, so far, I can highly recommend this laptop. I, I kid you not. This is a really good laptop. But... You know me. If something goes wrong, I'm going to report it to you. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in another follow-up on this phenomenal laptop soon. Take care.